So hospitals are a pretty confronting place. There's lots of things that people find difficult. And uh, one of the really common ones is intravenous cannulation. And it's a necessary part of, uh, of our uh, anaesthetic and we give medications through it and antibiotics and so forth. So the chances are if you're coming into hospital, you are gonna to need to have an intravenous cannula placed. Uh, and it's really nothing to be worried about. So in the spirit of patient education, we're going to make a short video on the cannulation process to show you what it's all about and I'm going to be the guinea pig. Alright, so this is Shane and uh, Shane's a uh, an anaesthesia nurse so there's a fair to middling chance if you come in to have surgery under my care that Shane's going to be there helping you out and holding your hand and, uh, and guiding you through the process of your anaesthetic and uh, part of that's going to be placing your intravenous cannula. So Shane is going to uh, cannulate me. So uh, so Shane, can you take us through the uh, cannulation process? Uh, sure I can, Pat. So with IV cannulation, we look for a vessel in your arm and we place a little cannula in it that is, that is steel on the inside, plastic on the outside, and it slides off and up your vessel like so. Um, I'll show you in a moment uh, with Patrick that it doesn't hurt, it feels a bit like an ant bite sometimes, sometimes you don't feel it at all, but we'll select a nice vessel in Patrick's arm and we'll pop a little cannula in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do when I come in and say hi is I will come up and we're going to pop a little tourniquet on your upper arm. So it increases the tension through the vessels in your arm, so you'll see that's a nice chunky vein that Pat's got here. There's other veins that appear in the back of the hand. For this, you can see two nice big ones that are popped up on Pat. So we're going to come up here, which is going to be a nice non-painful spot, and it's great access, and it's a big vein. Was here, and I'm going to give Pat's arm a wipe. I'm just going to let that settle there. And we just let that dry. And I can put a little bit of pressure here, and you can see the cannula is going to go in just in here. And I'll tell Pat when I'm going to do it, so he's expecting it. You feel a little sting, Pat. Little sting, little advancement. I'll slide that on and up. So the thing about this is that I didn't have any anaesthetic applied there. It was really, you can't really feel it at all. So it's a, a pretty painless sort of thing to have done. And uh, that's that's the worst of it. And basically through that, you get put off to sleep. So it's um, it's a pretty easy process, really. So... And that's how it goes. And then you'll see us messing around and attaching other gear. We've got a drip up there to attach. So this is all still nice and clean. Should take the drip down. You can see there's a little bit of blood in the cannula that will disappear when we connect this drip up, which is just like a bit of sugary salty water that will help rehydrate you. So uh, in this cannula, there's no metal left in there, so it's just a really soft little plastic in my vein at the moment. So it's not going to hurt me at all, and uh, I can move my arm around, so um, uh, it, it's completely safe to do so. Um, sometimes if the cannula is in around your elbow, if you do bend it up, the cannula will stop running, but that's actually, that's fine, because when you straighten it back out again, it'll start running again. Um, sometimes we might need to put a second one in if it stops flowing, um, and we might put it into a different location. Uh, intravenous cannula, really useful, um, used for a lot of different reasons. Um, primarily, it's to put you off to sleep, but also we give a, a heap of different medications through it. Um, and the delivery system is, um, is very accurate. We know exactly how much you're getting. It doesn't rely on absorption. Um, so there's a lot of medications that you have to give intravenously. So there are some antibiotics, for instance, that can only be administered intravenous, or alternatively, they can be administered at a much higher dose um, with an intravenous route. So they're a really, really useful part of our armamentarium. Can stay in, in principle, up to two to three days but for the vast majority of people who are having hip replacements and hip resurfacings, you're only really going to need it for the duration of your anaesthetic and for the day afterwards for antibiotic administration after your procedure.
So when we're finished with the uh, intravenous cannula, uh, it needs to be taken out. And so uh, here's Shane uh, taking out the intravenous cannula. Yeah. Tara, run us through it. <laughs> so um, you can see now it's, 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 the dressing's off. It moves around freely. It's just a bit of plastic in there. So we do have little IV dots, but for the purpose of this, I'll, I'll put a wad of gauze over there and you can watch it slide out from the vessel. And All right, and show us what it looks like. Pressure. So that's what it looks like. That's the bit of plastic, bit of Pat's blood in there. That's why it moves around so freely inside. And that's it. So that's the process of intravenous cannulation. Uh, pretty simple, as you can see. Um, I don't think you're going to have any problems with it.